fellow Diamond Painting Addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today to de-kit and then show you the finish of my latest diamond painting project. So I have pulled out the two ABs because I'm going to mark those separately. I know this is 5200 but my, those ABs are somewhere else and I can't remember if that's 208 or something but I will go look them up later. So I'm not going to do those two right now, but I am going to de-kit all the rest of these. So this kit only had 35 colors, including the two ABs. And some of these I know I don't need to save. So for example, I have a ton of 3865. I'm not going to save those extra drills. If I knew I was low on a color, then I would save them, but I just don't see the need to do that for ones that I know I have a ton of. Same with 823. There's not that many left and I just don't need to save them. I thought there was one more. I think it's 550. I have a ton of 550. So I'm not going to save those either. Okay, so those I'm gonna need to peel the stickers off of. And then I did actually kit this kit up in color order rather than DMC. But then as I was finishing it up, on my last section, I went back and put everything in DMC order just so that it would make it easier for me to de-kit. So 154, let me start with that one. This is a Diamond Art Club kit, and it's one that I bought in 2022, so it's been hanging around a little while. It wasn't very big. It was only about a 40 by 60. I actually ended up liking it way more than I thought I would, so I'm really happy that I ended up doing this one. Lost a drill somewhere. I heard it bounce. Oh, there it is. Because I don't have very many of those, so I will put those there. Whoops, one fell out in the tray. That is something I have to watch with these Elizabeth Wards. Sometimes on the back side, it doesn't quite close correctly, and I will lose drills. See how that's a little as you press it down. So I can lose drills out of it sometimes if I'm not paying attention. All right, these are the small ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the stickers here. And then as I go down the list, so 208, 209, 210, 211, I've got all of those. One of them I might have quite a few, but one of them I don't think I do. There's 208 and then 209. I think I have ABs of these purple colors get used in a lot of kits for some reason. Hmm, some static in this one. 209, 210. Ooh, I have lots of 210 that's in different colors. Some days I can let this go and some days I'm like, no, I just want them to all be one color. Right now, this bag is, I want them to all be one color. All right. Some of them stuck in the bag, but that's okay. If there's just one or two that are not the same color, then I probably won't even notice. I hate when you get like little pieces of, just really small pieces of plastic that get stuck in there and then you can't get them undone. Or they won't, not undone, they won't come out of the container. Also, sometimes on these here at the back, you can get drills that get trapped in there and I don't realize it until after I've got everything else put away. All right, 312, do I need those? Sure, it's another small one. Maybe I'll get out of DMC order. See, there's one you can see and it just fell out. It was stuck in that little back section, but then it fell out, so now I don't know where it went. Let me, because it fell out, so let me grab some of these smaller ones. All of these are really tiny. So I'm not gonna go exactly in DMC order, but I'm sure that's fine with you guys, right? Woof, those are not even the same color at all. Okay, so see, because I have more of these, I'm gonna leave those as they are. And I'm just gonna, since I don't have very many of those anyway, just gonna let those go, 321. So the, what I was saying, this kit, I was actually gonna 
enhance it and add some enhancements because it only had the two ABs. I did not end up doing that because, honestly, because I forgot at the beginning. All right, now I'm jumping to 601 with these over here. I forgot, and then once I started doing it, I was having so much fun, I just kept doing it. <laughs> I didn't want to take the time to go back and look for enhancements because it turned out so pretty. I wasn't even sure if I would like it. Like I, It's one of those kits that I had seen it for sale. I kind of liked it when it was on sale, and then I saw someone finish it, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I want to get that one, so I did. And I'm kind of kicking myself I haven't finished it before now because it turned out so great. All right, 718. I'm doing all these small ones here. See, and there's one, there's one trapped back in there. Sometimes I can get it out with my finger, but sometimes I have to use a pair of tweezers or something to get it out. All right, 718, then 803. Ooh, I do not need any 803. That bag is completely full. All right, so let me do these since they are the small size. Get all my Elizabeth Ward tray back looking the way it should, or the way it comes, I guess. All right, and then I've got a couple more of those. There's a small one. Oh, 939. That's another one I know I have a million of, so I don't need to keep any of those. All right, trying to pick out all the correct sizes here. All right, let me, let me just pull these all out of the tray and make a big mess and then start peeling these stickers off so I can put them back in the tray since that's the goal here, to get them back in the tray where they belong. So I didn't end up adding any enhancements, but I think it turned out super cute. This is an older kit, like I said. I bought it, I think, in 2022, and I think it actually came out before then. So it had guide circles on it, which super annoying. If you don't know what guide circles are, guide circles are like little black circles that the diamond painting companies put on the symbols or behind the symbols or around the symbols so that you have somewhere to sort of aim when you're putting in your drills. Which on the one hand, I appreciate if you're a new diamond painter, they're probably helpful. But as someone, ooh, I don't need 819 either. That bag is completely full. As someone who has diamond painted a lot, I find them super annoying. It is helpful to have the guide circles to place your drills, but like I said, after you've been doing it for a while, it is not something you really need. Let's see, who am I looking for? 963. Those are not the same color, so I'm not going to keep these. Someone asked in a, another video, somebody commented and wanted to know, what I'm doing with all of my mixed up drills. All of my mixed up drills, while they are drills that I'm keeping, like there's not enough in there for me to keep, they are what I call trash drills. Some of them are actually trashy drills. Some of them are just drills I've chosen not to keep for some reason. If I have too many of a certain color or something like that, which happens a lot with white, black, 939, 3371, that kind of thing. But my ones where they're all mixed in together like that is because I am trying to keep the drills out of the landfill and I'm going to be hopefully at some point one day making a, what I want to make is like a, get a lamp base that I can fill with all of the various different drills because I have special drills poured in there too. Anyway, all right, 333. And then I think, no, I got 327, and then all the rest of these are 36, 37, and 38 hundreds. I have quite a few of these, but I'll go ahead and save them. That's what I'll be doing with my saved trash drills. The drills that go in these bags are the ones that I'm going to save to actually do a project with some mythical day when I get around to doing that. I have a couple of heaven and earth design canvases that I can use my spare drills on. 
actually have one of them already kitted up, but I don't think I actually have enough drills to finish it, so I can always use extra drills. And at some point, hopefully, I'll have enough put together that I can... My brain is all over the place today, so hopefully I am not rambling so much that you guys can't even follow what I'm saying. All right. Rambling aside about all of my various projects, what did I want to talk about for this kit? So I didn't like the guide circles. I didn't add any enhancements. I did actually love all the colors. All the pinks and purples I thought were really, worked really well together. And I thought the image itself was rendered really nicely as a diamond painting. I've tried to make it as easy on myself as possible to put away my spare drills. And I like the storage system. I think I just have, at this point, I just have too many spare drills, <laughs> which sounds like a crazy thing to say, but I just need to do something with them instead of just having them sit around in my spare drill storage. I mean, there's no real point in saving them if I'm never ever going to use them, right? So these small ones are going to actually go in another tray because this whole line is full and there's a drill hanging in the back there. All right, now those are empty. Okay, so let me see, 38, those are 36, 37, 36. All right, 38, 37. It took me about 18 hours to complete the kit, so it really didn't take that long. It's, like I said, only is a, about a 40 by 60. So quite a bit smaller than most of the diamond paintings I work on, especially this year. I appreciated that it was quick. Also, I never know if that's because I just happen to be faster at rounds. I mean, I know rounds go faster because the drills cover more space, but ooh, I don't have very many of those. But it only took about 18 hours and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It didn't take me that many days to complete it either. Ooh, I didn't have very many of either of these colors. It's nice to save the diamond art clubs because I know they're good drills. I know there are people who also said they keep separate bags for companies. So like for each color, they'll have a bag for diamond art club and then they'll have a bag for craftably and then they'll have a bag for Oraloa or a bag for Bella art diamonds. I, I can't, that's too many bags. I have enough problems just keeping track of one bag for each color plus one bag for each color of ABs. I mean, you do you, if that makes you happy and then, you know, you mostly do paintings from those companies, then it makes sense to do that. I kind of started this whole system when I was doing a lot of budget diamond paintings. Those are very hit or miss with, ooh, 3607, 08, and 09. Oh, I missed 07, I should have grabbed that one first. Hmm. Anyway, when I started this kind of system of keeping my drills, I was a brand new diamond painter. I had, I was really concerned, ooh, I don't need any 3607, really concerned that I might run out of drills. And so I wanted to keep them in case I ever did. In all the time that I've been diamond painting, I think I've actually run out of drills maybe four or five times, that's it. And most of the time that I ran out of drills, I needed very, very few drills to finish. It was nice to have the drills on hand, but I really haven't needed them in the quantity that I've saved them, if that makes sense. I keep telling myself that one of these days I'm going to order some more heaven and earth designs, or I'm going to order some more canvases where it's, I'll do like a cross stitch conversion and I'll just get a blank canvas and then I can use my spare drills for the project. But I still have my two heaven and earth designs and I haven't managed to get to those yet either. So I need to go grab a couple of these that went into a different tray to make room for those, put those back where they belong. So let me kind of get everything put away because except for the tray, the containers that I'm missing, my tray is empty. So let me get everything put away and then I will be back to show you the finished project. Don't go anywhere. And here is the finished kit. I have taken some B-roll of the finishes, so I'll run some of that while I'm talking probably. 
like I said, it came with two ABs. So you can see the white ABs here in her shirt and in her eyes and her earrings. And also the kind of very light purple AB is also in her shirt and in her earrings. And here are some in the background kind of clouds and everything here. I had so much fun with this kit and I really wasn't expecting that. I mean, I enjoy all of my diamond paintings, but this one was just really nice to do. And again, it could have been because I was doing this after doing a bunch of squares. And so I, the rounds are just more relaxing for me. I enjoyed them all, but I think the rounds are just more relaxing. But I really like all of the colors. I love the kind of gradients here in the background with the light purples and then fading into kind of the darker purples and dark blues. I love the kind of raspberry colors of her hair and how it's kind of flowing in the wind. Her little kind of raspberry colored magenta colored glasses as well. It's just a very simple image, but it was really fun to do. Now, I will say, like I said, I don't appreciate the guide circles because, you know, if you're working from the bottom, then you place them where you can see it. And then when you flip it and I work from the top, I can see where I didn't quite place my drills perfectly. And so you can see a little bit of the guide circle or the white that's underneath, like right here. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that, but like right here on this particular drill, you can still see a little bit of the white because it wasn't the white that's underneath it because I didn't quite place it quite perfectly. My drill placement is not perfect. I try to get it as straight as I can, but I also try not to worry too much about it being absolutely perfect because that takes away from my enjoyment of it. I mean, I want it to look nice, but if I've got a couple of drills that aren't perfect, by the time it's finished and if I'm gonna hang it up and frame it, no one's gonna notice but me. The other thing that I really liked about this kit was I had almost no trash. Now it's not a very big kit, it's only a 40 by 60, but this is still all the trash that I had. And you can see some of them are just misshapen ones, little extra pieces. Some of them have like little tabs on them like that piece there. Some of them had like weird marks or little dots in it. I don't know if that's dirt that gets in the resin or something, but, but that's it. That's all the trash that I had for this whole kit. I'm excited for this kit because I'm doing the diamond painting bingo event on Instagram. And this is my second round that I've completed. So that lets me mark off that spot, which gives me a bingo. And also this kid had no 310. So that let me mark off that spot. And that also gave me a bingo. So this gave me a Dumble bingo for this particular kit. I don't know what that means. I'm just doing it for fun, but I'm gonna post my pictures of this and show that I got double bingo. So I'm super happy about that. Okay. I think that's all I wanted to tell you guys about this kit. I, like I said, I think it turned out really, really well. I'm super happy with it. I think it looks really good. It's small enough that I'm actually debating framing it and keeping it, but I haven't made a final decision on that yet. So it's probably going to go live in my portfolio until I make that decision. At some point, I'm going to go through my portfolio with all of my very large diamond paintings and decide which ones I'm keeping to frame and which ones I'm going to let go of. I haven't quite decided what to do with them yet. You guys have had all kinds of amazing suggestions, but I just haven't decided. I feel like at some point, if I had the wall space, I would hang them up, so I don't want to let go of them. But realistically, they're probably not traveling with me to Canada, so I'll figure out something. Anyway. That's it, wishes from Diamond Art Club. I don't know if this one is still available or not. If it is, I'll stick the link down below. If it's not available, I'll stick a link just to Diamond Art Club's website. They have lots of really cool kits, always coming out with new stuff, so check them out. That's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching.